You've been in the middle of what is turning into kind of a big issue in this campaign cycle, which is the number of Democrats running for the House in November who are saying that they are going to vote against Nancy Pelosi for leadership and put in someone else yes. as speaker. She was the first female House Speaker, and Thomas Mann, a senior fellow at the Brookings Institute, called her the, quote, strongest and most effective speaker of modern times. Mm -hmm. So why do you want her out? Yeah, th this, is, this is nothing against Nancy Pelosi's uh, tenure. The point that I'm making here is that the Democratic Party has lost the trust of voters. If you ran some significant Democratic policy positions, investments in infrastructure, for instance, investments in our healthcare system so that we can low, lower overall costs while expanding coverage. If you ran policies like that, supporting unions, doing something about rampant gun violence, in a district like mine, there'd be resounding support for them. The problem is, is that the Democratic Party is not trusted. Dem individual Democratic politicians running at the congressional level are not trusted. So I think during the process to regain voters' trust, we certainly need new leadership um, at the top. But we can't just stop there. To say that we're just going to stop there is insufficient, and I don't think I'd be doing your question justice. The entire party needs to change. 